these old newspapers and magazines are going to a factory to be recycled. They'll be turned into new clean paper. Isn't that clever? Now, I need another box to put these in. This'll do. Pickle! What are you doing in there? Oh dear. He says he's lost. Well, you're not lost anymore, Pickle, because I've found you. What's that? He's looking for Twinkle. Well, he's inside the house. That's funny. It's getting late and they still haven't called me in to read a story. Perhaps they're not going to today. Oh, wait! Listen! That's the house. There must be a story to tell. Come on, Pickle. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen. We've tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure, tears, fears, and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. That's odd. The doors haven't opened. Boris! Chloe! Twinkle! Twinkle! Hello! Hello, Mr. Mopper. Hello, Mr. Mopper! You were a long time. I've been knocking at the door for ages. Oh, dear. I I'm afraid we didn't hear you, Mr. Mopper. It's those doors again, Chloe. They're not working properly. We'll have to get someone to fix them. Boris can fix them, dear. Don't worry. Oh, look who I found. Pickle! He's always wandering off and getting lost. <laughs> Actually, that's what reminded me of a story. Oh, that's good, Boris. Where is it then? Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. Stand back, Mr. Mopple. Thank you, Boris. We're going to have a story. It's called Home Before Dark. Teddy was sitting alone on the stairs. Lily and her mum were getting ready to go out. Wait, said Lily. We nearly forgot Teddy. Teddy likes going to the park. They stayed a long time in the park. They played on the swings and they fed the ducks. Ooh, it's getting late, said Mum. And I think it might rain. Come on, we must get home before dark. Lily was so tired, she fell asleep. Oh no! Poor Teddy! Lily dropped him. And so Mum and Lily set off home without Teddy. Teddy was left all alone. Out on the pavement he felt very small. He was very careful. He crossed at the crossing and remembered to look both ways. Oh dear! A big car splashed him all over. On the pavement, he was kicked and bashed and bumped by all the boots and shoes and bags and shopping. 
that's what could happen to you, Pickle, if you go wandering off on your own. Then it began to rain. Teddy had to shelter by a dustbin. Teddy thought that he would never see Lily again. I must get home before dark. That's when Lily needs me the most. So bravely he set off up the hill. It was a very, very, very steep hill. By the time he reached the top, it was nearly dark. Whoosh! went the wind. Head over heels, he tumbled. Down and over, over and down, all the way to his house. He tried to tap at the door with his cold, wet paws. But no one could hear him. Just like you at our door, Mr Bopple. Yes, I know how Teddy feels. <laughs> and so out in the dark, he waited and waited and waited. Until a friendly voice said, Yo, poor old bear, have they forgotten you? Never mind, I know what to do. And so the paper boy delivered Teddy through the letterbox. At bedtime, Lily said, Where's Teddy? I can't go to bed without him. Ah, oh, here he is. You have an easy life, don't you, Teddy? Oof. Good night, Lily. Kiss, kiss. And good night, Teddy. Sleep tight. But we know what really happened, don't we? Yes, Lily didn't know she'd left Teddy in the park. And he found his way home all by himself. Clever Teddy. Thank you, Boris. Now I must find my way home before it gets dark. I'm sure you know your way home, Mr Mopple. Yes, of course I do, Chloe. But don't you go wandering off again, Pickle. Thank you for bringing him back, Mr Mopple. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr Mopple. Mr. Mopple. No more lost teddy bears in there. I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>